Lots of updated actually this week. Yeah. Uh, we have some news. Updated. Uh, everyone's favorite NAU 7802. This is a strain gauge. You can see the little strain gauge sensor there. Um, this is a 24 bit ADC for um, measuring strain gauges and other Wheatstone bridges. Okay. Um, and people requested, hey, can you like pin out those that B ADC? Because I pinned out the A only. And I was like, oh, I'll get to it, get to it. And finally I got to it. So I revised this to now have a six pin. Um, terminal block instead of a four pin. So you get um, both the A and B ADCs. You'll have to, in the code, I added to the Arduino library at least, code to let you switch between the two analog devices. You can't read both ADCs at the same time, but if you want like two strain gauges, I guess, you could have two connected up and maybe you do differential measurements. I don't know. Connectors here. But yeah. Uh, yeah, in stock and available right now. So it's a nice little update. Nice. Okay, next up. <laughs> Okay, next up, we've updated the, I'm, I'm going through and I'm actually like fixing all the Yank stuff that's been out of stock. Thanks everybody who's been patient. It just, Yank stuff gives me the ick. Um, it drives me a little nuts to work on it. So it just takes even, some time. Even computers don't like it. Um, we were no, talking we're today, right. you know, all the AI LLMs, this Yank code, they don't want to touch it. They're just like, no thanks. I'm going to go work on the uh, issue is like clips. every time you get a display, you have to like ask the manufacturer for the documentation and code. And it's always, it's always just really terrible. And then I have to like convert it into like beautiful Arduino or Python code. So anyways, the 2.9 inch e-ink displays um, now come with an SSD 1680 um, chipset. Um, it's a little bit faster, a little bit better. Uh, so I've updated both the feather wing. So this is like you attach a feather onto the back for a tricolor display. And also I've updated the breakout version. Um, both now have the same display. Again, it's SSD 1680. Um, otherwise it's, it, these are kind of nice. I think hopefully we'll be able to stick with um, this chipset for a bit. And this is the latest version um, now available in the Adafruit shop. All right, are you ready? Uh -huh. Next <coughs> up. Next up, we're actually going to get to some new products. Yay. Okay, first up is the um, AS5600 sensor. This is from um, AMS. Uh, somebody sent this over and said, this is a pretty nice little sensor because it actually, like, the i 2 c spits out the angle that it detects of a magnet. So you know, normally people have um, a potentiometer, right? And you can twist it, and it can measure, like, 0 to 270 degrees. Or you can have a rotary encoder, which only has 24 spots, but it can go all the way around. Well, the, what's nice about this sensor is when you pair it with a magnet, and a magnet, you know, you have the north and south be the knob of the, you know, that's how it's detected. Um, it will convert it to an absolute angle between zero and 360 with like 0.4 accuracy, degree accuracy and 0.1 degree precision. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. Uh, you don't have the mechanical wear of a potentiometer or a rotary encoder. You don't get only 24 dots per rotation. You get like, you know, 360 de degrees. It goes all the way around and it can keep track of absolute position. Like rotary encoders, you know, they only tell you if you move left or right. They don't tell you if, um, like where you are in the um, rotation. But what's nice about um, this sensor, you see there's a magnet behind it it detects what the angle of the magnet is. And you can put the magnet on top or behind either one. All right. That's a new product. Next up, the star of the show. Tonight, Lena, besides you, besides our team, besides the entire community doing stuff, besides all the people who share things, make this place a little bit better, is we're selling the Word Adafruit. The Word Adafruit. <laughs> so this is the uh, TPS 6116 boost converter. Um, and this is a, a boost converter specifically designed for driving LEDs in constant current mode, uh, which is different than most boost converters. So most boost converters we have give you like five volts out or 12 volts or whatever. What's interesting about this one is it gives you a constant current and you can select what current you want okay. by flicking those switches at the top. So by default it's 25 mm. milliamps, but you can add 25, add 50, add 100, add 200, basically up to 400 milliamps. So you can go up to 40 volts or up to 400 milliamps Check the part description because I explained you can't do 40 volts at 400 milliamps. There's kind of like a balance between it. 
But what's nice is this is great for driving are LED filaments and nudes, especially like the long 12 yeah. volt and 24 volt versions because they're kind of annoying and weird to drive. You need like a 24 volt power supply and they need a resistor. And then like, what if you want to dim it? So what's nice is that like, for example, here, I'm just running off a couple of AA batteries. You give the boost converter three to five volts in, and then you connect the LED to the output, and then it will automatically boost to whatever voltage you need in order to get that 25 to 400 milliamps, whatever you've selected, output. Uh, and then, of course, you just flick the uh, switches to change the constant current. And if you want to dim it um, on the breakout itself, oops, sorry, yeah. there is a PWM pin. So, you know, if you want to have external PWM control, you can dim it, but you don't have to. If a lot of people just want to have the, the LED on, what's nice is there's no soldering required because it, come, because it comes with terminal blocks. You just put in your power input, you have your LED output, and then it's great for both Flame out. a nude, or in this case, if you see, I have, uh, oh, you, go back there? Okay. you have eight LEDs, three volts in a row. They're only drawing 50 milliamps, but you, the wiring is really simplified because you connect one anode to another cathode all the way you know, across, you have whatever 20-ish, 24 volts uh, of, uh, of power, but it doesn't, you, know, you don't have to worry about that. The booster will automatically just figure out whatever the voltage has to be in order to drive 50 milliamps. All right, uh, this is a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what people are gonna do with this because they already started some cool projects. And Glowy stuff. More glow. All right, that's new products. New, 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 new.